So now we're going to make the, the second attack of the boss and in this what will happen is that the boss will go up into this point and then it will go onto the direction of the player trying to ram him and kill him. And by the way, the boss right now isn't deadly so just change its attack to deadly so that it can't kill the player. Second attack. For the boss to to ignore gravity, we have to make its rigid body turn into kinematics. So get component rigid body 2D dot is kinematic and change it to true. Now just like we did in here, we're going to do something very similar here. So while the boss, the transform point of the boss is different from the position of the spot and you want him to go to this game object so and that game object's element number is the spots 2 so put here spots 2 dot position so while that's different, we want it to move towards that, so transform dot position equals vector two dot move towards transform dot position and we want it to move to that target so spots two dot position at a certain speed and we can use the speed variable that we used already so comma speed and of course we have to put here yield return new so that doesn't that doesn't happen all in the same frame so this way it moves a bit then it waits from for the next frame then it moves a bit again and so on and so forth until it gets there and let's see if that's working fine so, okay, so right now it will execute the first attack and oh, and then it goes there as you can see, so it, it is working fine. And then after it goes there, what I want it to do is to find the, the position of the player. So I'm going to put here game object player and in the start make it the player be equal to the game object dot find game object with tag player so make sure that the player has that tag okay so after he's on the air I want him to save the position of the player in a in a vector that he has so vector three just player pause and I'm I'm putting vector three instead of vector two because sometimes that gives us errors. Okay so player pause equals to the player dot transform dot position so basically it's saving the position of the player in a vector free after that we are going to make it wait some time so yield return new wait for seconds and it will wait one second so that we have the time to move the player from that position so that we, so that we don't get killed and then we want the, the robot to fall so make the kinematic equal to false again so that it is affected by physics and we're going to copy this part of the first attack copy this part over here into here and as you may recall this made the the robot move into the x of a certain thing and we want that x to be equal to the player position dot x so just put here player position and again here player position and like that the boss will move into there trying to ram the player and now we're going to make here a time for the robot to be vulnerable so we're going to make it vulnerable for 4 seconds over here and to show the player that the boss is uh, vulnerable, we're going to make here a public sprite 
array called sprites. Save and in this sprites array right now this is the default sprite and whenever the the robot gets into the vulnerable state you want it, the, the sprite to change into the red light being active so let's go to the sprites and this is the sprite zero as you can see so I'm going to put here this sprite over here and when the red light is activated the sprite two so put them into there and now here so for the boss to be vulnerable first off his tag has to change so this dot tag equals and equals and tag so that he can't kill, kill the player if the player hits it and we want to change the sprite render so get component sprite render dot sprite and make it equal to the sprite one and also we're going to create a, a public bool called vulnerable public bool vulnerable so that you can use this to make the player kill the robot in another place so vulnerable vulnerable equals true and then we make here a real return new wait for seconds 4 seconds so that we have 4 seconds to hit the robot and after that all of this turns back to whatever it was so this was deadly deadly this was the sprite 0 and this was false and we're going to take care of this not now but we'll do it in in the in some time right now what I'm going to do is to create the third attack the so third attack okay and this third attack basically is after the robot has landed because as you may recall the robot after the, it does that, that attack the robot lands so it lands over here and it, this attack will check if the player is in this side or in this side and if according to that it will go into the direction of the player into this point or into this point so let's do that I'm going to make here transform temp variable and now we're going to check where the player is relative to the boss so if transform.position.x is greater than the players dot transform dot position dot x meaning if we are on the right of the player then we want the, the temporary spot to be the this game object so make the temp equal be equal the spots and that game object was let's see was the element one of the spots so put here spots one else the temp equals spots zero which is this point over here so save oops just do it over here and this over here save that's fine so once it has detected which is the position that it wants to go we're going to do yet again what we did in the first attack so it's very it could be very similar so we're going to copy it into here we want it to go to whatever we picked here so we want it to go to the temp so the temp.position.x so while it isn't in that position it will move towards that position gradually so just like that right now we have done it and that's basically the third attack you just go to one of those positions and this right now is the boss cycle but it isn't cycling to cycle we have to put here while true so I'm going to put here while true I want this to happen like so If I, now I have to delete this because it won't even happen and now you'll see that the boss will do its full cycle so it throws the balls over there 
and then it go, goes up and it finds the position of the player and goes into that position and it is inactive for 4 seconds and it goes back to whatever it was and it goes back up and you cycle this position like and you'll cycle this uh, during a lot of time now the the speed of the robot is a bit too fast as you could see so let's see if point 0.1 is better okay oops and I'm going to put the player in the in here and let's try and show let me try and show you that it's working fine so as you can see now the robot goes there and it tries to go into the position of the player and is invulnerable so if you touch it nothing happens and it goes into the direction of the player and then it goes back into the first attack and does that again okay and with this done now we're going to make the the boss have life so I'm going to put here a public float HP equals 100 and basically what I want to do is whenever the player collides with the boss I want the boss to lose some life so if so void on collision enter 2d collision 2d call we want to check if the collider is the player so if call dot collider equals tag dot tag equals player for this to happen and the player not die the robot has to be in the vulnerable phase so this this will only happen correctly in the vulnerable phase so if the robot is in the vulnerable phase and vulnerable then we want the HP to reduce himself by say 30 for instance and make the robot go back to be not vulnerable and change its sprite again so where was that here it is like that and now the robot will lose life so let me show you that this is working fine we have here the HP of the robot so all of this will happen I'll try and not die the robot falls and is now vulnerable and I hit it and as you can see he lost 30 lives 30 of his life and after 4 hits the the robot will die so but right now it, it the robot actually won't die because we haven't done nothing whenever the life comes to zero and we're going to do that to do that now and we're going to do that in the update function so if HP is less than or equal to zero and the robot is not dead so and so we're going to create a variable for that bool dead and not dead then we want the dead to be true and we can for instance change the color of the robot so get component sprite render dot color equals color dot gray and this will gray out the color of the robot and we have also to stop this routine from happening so stop coroutine boss and we can also instantiate a, a explosion so public m object explosion and instantiate an explosion over here so instantiate an explosion at the position of the player of the robot with zero rotation like that save and now I'm going to put the the explosion into here a few a few tutorials back we did this explosion this is the die explosion 
Anyway, so, so that you can see the robot die, I'm going to change its life to be 30. Now let's play. So the robot is there, it shoots its stuff, and I dodge it. And now the robot checks the position of the player, it goes there, and is now vulnerable. And as you can see, it exploded and it turned into this gray color. And right now it isn't executing its boss fight, so it's basically dead. And that's basically it. Anyways guys, that's how you do a boss. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.